Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Soldier you Knows Best here, and this is a demonstration of GarageBand 09. Of course, GarageBand comes um, part of the iLife suite that comes on every new Mac for free, and also you can buy the upgrade to the iLife 09 suite uh, if you still have a, an older computer that has iLife 08 on it. Uh, but anyway, this is a very good, powerful program for editing any type of audio, whether it be music, CDs, podcasts, ringtones. Um, different instruments, hundreds of different instruments from guitars, strings to drums, everything you can do in this program. And again, it's free and it's very powerful. So let me go ahead and launch it here and I'm give you a, uh, it's a lot of things in GarageBand. I'm kind of give a, a, a quick look on a lot of those th different things here for you. Um, so here you want to create a new project. A uh, new project can be dealing with the um, a couple of different instruments here. Um, you do some songwriting, some voice, um, add some loops, of course do a podcast, and um, edit the audio for a movie. But let me go ahead and show you uh, one for um, making, uh, messing around with some of the instruments that come preloaded with GarageBand. Now GarageBand features, I mean, I think probably hundreds of different instruments um, that you can actually play right here in a program. So you launch this um, new track and the default track right here is the grand piano. So to say I'm gonna go ahead and start playing with the grand piano. I just wanna press Command K on my keyboard and I'll bring up this keyboard piano right here and I can go ahead and start clicking on the keys. And go ahead and start clicking on the keys and it actually plays it. Or what I like to do, and this is my favorite, click this button right here and it actually brings up the keyboard. So now your keyboard turns into the keys for the piano. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say I wanna go ahead and start recording some music for this. Come down here to the bottom, hit this record button. And now you can go ahead and start playing. Once you get done recording that, you can go back here and listen to it. And that's your piano. All right, so let's say you want to add a um, some more, a different song to it here. So I'm going to add another track, add another instrument to my um, song that I'm making right here. So go ahead and go down to new track. And you can choose to add a new uh, software instrument, real instrument, or um, electric, electric guitar there. Well, I'm just going to add another software instrument. All right, so I'll add that track here, and now you can go over here to the right-hand side of the program, and you have your software instrument uh, tab here. And so I can choose strings, and then go to an orchestra, um, start playing some uh, stuff from my orchestra here. Let me move over here. Well, let me show you this here. And at the top here, you know, you can't get the full, you know, piano keys just by your keyboard, but it allows you to scroll up and down the um, the keys here to get the lows and the highs of the instrument. So I scroll here to the right and you hear these very high pitch, high pitch or orchestra. So I'm going to start recording this. I used to play a piano back in middle school and high school. Bring back memories here. Mm -hmm. All right, let me stop before I uh, get a flash back there. All right, so we got um, we got that recorded there. So we go ahead and listen to see how both of those sound together. Sounds like a mess, I know. Uh, say you just want to listen to the piano, grand piano, just turn the volume all the way, or say you don't want to listen to the grand piano, just turn the volume all the way down, and now you just hear what the uh, the orchestra sound like, the string section. But all right, and you can get in some more detail editing with it. You can add as many instruments as you want to and make your own little song or whatever, but that's messing around with just a, a brand new track in GarageBand, messing around with some music. All right, so I'm going to get out of that, save that, and um, now podcast is very easy, easy to make, just choose podcast. And you get you the first launcher here. You have the podcast track, and this is where you can edit the information for, it, edit the album artwork. So let's say I'm um, going to drag some artwork over here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and find a good picture. All right, so I got a picture of me right here, and I drag this right over here. Boom, drop it. Now when they're playing my podcast on their iPod or the iPhone or iPod Touch or whatever, um, you know how it shows that picture for the uh, the podcast you're playing, and that's my picture that will pop up there. Um, so, all right, let me go ahead and record some audio here. And right below the podcast track information, it gives you a couple of default options um, options here, like the male voice, uh, female voice, if you're female recording. So I'm going to choose the male voice, hit the record button. Hey, Soldier Knows Best here. This is a uh, fake podcast here for my demonstration on YouTube. And I'm going to tell you, just like I'm going to tell you at the end of this video, subscribe to my channel. You'll be automatically interested in any of my giveaways I do. So this is another extra plug for me to sell that to you. All right, all right, so I got that uh, fake podcast there, and so you can listen back to it. This is a uh, fake podcast here for my demonstration on YouTube. 
All right, and that's the podcast there. Now the same thing with the um, I'll go back up to it here the podcast track. All right, so like, like I already showed you before, you can have the album or the artwork for the podcast that pops up when somebody starts playing to it. Now throughout the podcast, you can add what they call markers. So you just want to add a marker. Let me go right here. Add a marker right here, and this is a marker where you can, um, if you're talking about about a, a specific topic, and let's say you know you dropped your iPhone, you broke the screen on it, you have a picture of that right here. You can drag this picture over here, drop it right there. So now when they're listening to it, and if they're looking at the iPod, once you start talking about that at this specific time, this picture will pop up in place of the um, original artwork. So you can see right here, I go ahead and play. Hey, so this is a right uh, fake. All right. Um, so that's another good thing. You can add as many as you want for that. I'm um, sure there's another nice effect for that. Um, so that's a quick look at podcasts right there. Now you can do a little bit more with it, um, add some more audio, different, a lot of different things. But, of course, you'll play around with that. You'll find it out yourself. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the movies real quick. So I got a, you got a movie, um, a video or something, and you want to edit some, some audio in it. So let's say I got, uh, this is my intro right here that you see on the beginning of it, all my videos. All right, so I got my intro here. This is what it originally sounds like. Okay. All right, let's say I want to add something else on there. So let me go to audio. And uh, let's see. And I want to add some different type of audio to here. So I just pick the track and I drag it over, drop it. It'll import it in there. Then it'll convert the audio. All right. And now if I just want that new audio that I added to be the, the main audio for, I can just turn down the uh, sound of the original movie and just play this. All right, and so that can be my new music, or that can be my new my new audio for my intro video. That easy, I can change it. And of course, you can tweak it a little bit more if you want. All right, so that's how you can change some audio on some movies. All right, so let me go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, I gotta make this quick. Uh, the iPhone ringtone. And uh, let me see how much better I got left. I'll make you change. Oh, I got nine minutes. Uh, either way, <laughs> I don't feel like recording this again. It's the end of the Super Bowl, I'm tired. Uh, but anyway, uh, we got the iPhone ringtone. It's very easy to make an iPhone um, a ringtone for your iPhone instead of paying 99 cents to the iTunes store. Uh, so let me go ahead and choose voice. I mean, this is a real quick process. Um, so you got this pulled up here. You're going to make your own ringtone. Uh, go ahead and find your music here. Go down to the bottom right-hand corner, media button. And now you can go to your iTunes library and choose whatever music that you want to make some uh, Make a ringtone out of. So click this and drag it over here and drop it. And then I'll load that song up here. All right. And we have the audio here that we want to make a ringtone. So say I just want that part to be the ringtone. So I want to start when the audio starts so right about here. And then I want to, on my ringtone, the end of that part. Or just keep looping at that part. All right, so I'll go right there. So I just move these yellow markers, Use move this yellow marker to which portion that I want the ringtone to start and stop at. All right, so there it is. So now you got your ringtone. That easy. You can get a more detailed editing if you want, but this is, I mean, pretty much all you want, right? Just that little snippet of the song. So you can go ahead and go up here to share, sing ringtone to iTunes, and start converting it, and it'll automatically pop up. There it is. Automatically pop up to iTunes as a ring in your ringtone section right here. And so the name of this is My Song 26. And so I go down here to my iPhone section here, and now my ringtone section, my song 26 is right there. And all I gotta do is press sync, and that ringtone is right on my iPhone. That very easy, very very easy. And okay, so close out of this. Now one more thing here I'm gonna show you is the lesson store. 
um, the lesson store where you can actually buy lessons from professional artists um, like Fall Out Boy, Sting, and you know a lot of a few other people here. Of course, they're going to ask some more. But you can buy um, a professional lesson there for four dollars and ninety nine cents. Now, it does I, I went ahead and bought one for you here? Even though I don't play any any of these instruments. I uh, went ahead and bought one for you here, and it's called. You go to your learn to play section, and I bought the one with Sting, and he shows you how to play Roxanne on the guitar. So you're going to click that and open that up. All right, and so you go to choose learn song. You can choose simple. And he'll walk in here with his tight, tight ass pants. Hi, I'm Sting, and I'm here to teach you a simplified version of my song, Roxanne. Okay, and then they'll go along here, and actually, he talks to you, he walks you through the simple, the first verse of um, on the top three you know, of the important guitar. factors on how to play the song on the guitar. He actually shows you the different keys, uh, not the different keys, but the different strings that you need to play at these specific times, show you different melodies. So, I mean, this is pretty, I mean, it's a pretty cool thing, actually, to see this. Uh, of course, you can go to Advance. Um, you just choose Play Song. And now this one, this is a section where you actually play along with him. He just plays the song through. And then also you can go to the story. The songs are often um, very fortunate. Now, this is where he actually talks about the story behind the song. What inspired him to actually make the song, write the song, sing the song how to find the music to it. So there's another kind of personal touch to it that you can watch. Um, and these things, um, I think they range around about 15, they're average about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, the whole lesson, like, all the way through. So four ninety nine, you know, I think it's worth it if it's something that you're really interested in getting. All right, and that's about it. Uh, so we're going to cut this off before my battery cuts off on me. Um, but this has been a great... Um, not a great, but it's been a good, very um, good de demonstration of GarageBand 09. It's just a quick, quick look at a lot of the different things. As you see, it's a very powerful program. I just hit really the basic things of it. Uh, but for the average user, this is probably more than enough than you ever need. I mean, you can really make some professional stuff out of this um, on this free program on your Mac. All right, again, it's Soldier Knows Best. Make sure you check me out every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on Ustream.tv, where I do a live stream event. Just go to that website, Ustream.tv, do a search, and you'll find me. And um, I got a YouTube giveaway coming up here very soon. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to give away, webcam, printer, something like that, um, iPod maybe. Um, I'm going to have a YouTube giveaway coming up here very soon. Of course, all you got to do is be entering that to subscribe to my channel. That's all you have to do. It'll be automatic internet giveaway. All right, I'll catch you later. Peace.